all right so you can see here that this is our email so we have successfully uploaded a german handwritten document translated it into english and sent out in the form of email awesome that's cool and that's amazing hello ai enthusiasts welcome back to skill curve Today we'll be going to build something really amazing. Let's consider this scenario. Suppose you're a person whose job is to actually translate German handwritten notes and then you actually need to type them onto your system and send to your boss, like email to your boss or something like that. Today we can see this use case being automated with the help of Mind Studio, which is a new tool and it's absolutely free. Zapier which we already like covered previously as well, and GPT-4 Vision, which is actually a great large language model. We will use AI to interpret what's in those handwritten documents, like German documents, translate them, and then actually send them to our boss or any email address. So this would be interesting. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you need to do is go to this website, which is like uai.ai. You simply have to create an account. I already have done that. So I'll simply go to this, like my AIs, and this is how the dashboard looks like. So I simply need to click on like create new AI to just get started. Now we have like two options. Either you can like generate prompt or like you can start from like scratch or use the blank AI. So I'll simply just click on like blank AI and click next. So this is like main.flow, which contains like prompt, automations and model settings. I'll simply navigate to automations. So here we will start designing our application. So first thing we need is to actually take input from the user. So I'll simply click on this plus icon, click on like user input. Now just click on this plus button to edit and just click on like create new. So here the type would be like upload image and variable I could specify like as image, that would be fine. Label text, which will show all the way on the top. And I can call it as like upload your German handwritten docs. The rest of the things are fine for now. So I can simply go back. So our user input is set up. Now we have taken the input from the user, which is actually the image. Now we need to feed this image to GPT-4 vision model. So for that, what we can do, we can simply like create a new step and I can simply call like run function. Then I can browse functions from community. Come down here and then click on GPT-4 vision. It's importing. Now you will actually need open AI API key for that. So for that, what you need to do, you just need to go to like platform.openai.com forward slash API keys. You can simply create a new one. I can call it as Mind Studio one because I already created one. Then just click on create like new key. I will copy this key from here, come back and paste my key in here. Okay. Now for the image URL, what we can say, we can specify the image variable we created in the user input like this one. If I just go back here. So this was my image variable, which I actually specified in this particular case inside of curly braces. So now this is actually the prompting part. So we could say that translate the German text in image to English language. Make sure to return English text only. Format the text as necessary. For response data variable, I could call it as like output, which we can use later on. And success variable, we do not need that actually. Now it's done. Now we actually have start. We have like user input as well. Then we are providing that user input to GPT-4 vision model. Then it's actually giving back the response in the form of output. Now we actually need to do a few other things as well. Once we have like response back from GPT-4 vision, what we'll do, we'll simply take that text and send it to someone else in the form of like email or something. So that's what we are going to achieve here. We will simply click plus here, then click on like send message. Either you can just simply display it to a user or you could assign it to a variable as. Now here we will simply reference the output. At the bottom, I can say only write the text. Here I only want the text of that particular image. 
like translate it into English. And here what we can do, rather than displaying it to user, we can assign it to a variable. And here I can call it as, for instance, like content. And inside of the model, I can simply choose GPT-4. We will lower the temperature to zero. And max response tokens, I could specify like the maximum, which is, I guess, 5,000. Yeah, 5,000 is max. We don't need prom, so that's it. Now, it will actually prepare the text response from GPT-4 Vision. Next, we need to use another tool, which is Zapier. You just simply need to go to Zapier and create your account. Or if you already have, you can simply log in. Now, we actually need to send this text in the form of email to someone. All right, you can see right over here that I have a kind of a warning here. It says like the variable output is referenced but does not exist. So let me see where is the problem. All right, I just simply need to like define it. I don't want to call it. If you like give curly braces, it means that you are basically calling the output variable. Our warning is gone. Now we need to send this as email to someone. For that, I can say create a zap from scratch. Then we need to add a trigger. Then we simply need to select this webhook. That's pretty much it. Then we need to choose an event and we can simply like choose catch hook from here. Simply click on continue. Then again continue. We do not need a child key. Then it says like we are listening. You just simply need to copy this link. Come back to your mind studio. Now we need a node of like Zapier. So I'll simply click on run function. Browse community functions. Go all the way down and just click on Zapier webhook. Click on import and it imported the Zapier webhook for us. Now I simply need to paste in the URL which says like we are listening to your trigger. And here in the input, what I can say, I can give like this variable, which was content. So I could say like content, that's fine. Now you must remember the flow. First of all, the user inputs like an image that it is fed into GPT-4. GPT-4 came back with a response. We converted that response uh, to only text, then assign it to like content. Then we are passing the content to like Zapier webhook. So that's pretty much it. Now, as everything is uh, pretty much set up, then we need to come back to Zapier and just click on like test trigger. Now we need to actually send something from there as well. Now, what you need to do is just simply need to click on this preview button and then just click on like preview draft. So here it is. You can see right over here. I can simply name it as well. I can call it as German handwriting to English translator. All right, that's pretty much it. Now I can again launch the preview version. Now it's looking really nice. I can simply click on open. So now you can upload an image. I have like a, a German letter, I think. I downloaded from like uh, internet. It's basically, I guess, the letter from like World War or something like that. I don't know what's written in here. So let's try to actually test it and see whether it will translate it or not. So I can simply like upload that letter in here. It's uploading. You can see. Then click on next. It's processing. You can see right over here. Analyzing the image. All right. So you can see that the content of the letter is right here. So let's try to see whether we get the data inside of Zapier or not. So let me just click on like test trigger. All right, so we have this record, which is like request A, you can see right over here. This is like a letter to a daughter from someone, probably, yeah. So I can just simply click on like continue with selected record. Now we need to select like Gmail here. Yeah, this thing. And I can simply choose an event to like send email. Then I can simply click on continue. So this is my email, which will be used. And then I can simply click on continue once again to let's say I need to send it to my sport email. I could say like sport at the rate skillcurve.com. Then I do not want CC, BCC as well. From I can choose my own email address. From name, I can say like my name. All right. So reply to. We don't need that. Subject, I could say like German handwritten notes translation. And body type would be like plain. 
And if we just click on like body, so you could see the data here, this thing, like our actual letter or the content. Signature, I don't want. And every other thing, it's fine for now. So I'll simply click on continue. So this is my trigger. You can see send email to Gmail. So this is how it will look like. So I can simply test the step here, which would trigger the email all right so you can see that a send email was sent to gmail about a second ago so that's awesome all right so you can see here that this is our email so we have successfully uploaded a german handwritten document translated it into english and sent out in the form of email awesome that's cool and that's amazing now what we need to do we simply need to publish our zap i could call it as like mind studio zap you can call it anything publish this and it will go live in a while all right it's live you can see right over here now we need to notify the user that uh, we have completed their task so after all the zapier stuff that happens what we need to do we need to create a new node we simply need to choose like send message and we can say like everything was done successfully and email sent to your list that would be perfect now we actually need to publish this thing as well so i'll simply click on publish and it would ask you to choose a plan so they have like a 23 dollar per month plan or 99 dollar per month plan as well so there's a free plan as well so i could simply click on like select now you can actually share it to like anybody like you can share this link and anyone can use this application so i can simply click on open all right, so let's just try to upload an image and see like how it performs now with everything published and let's see whether it will like uh, complete our request or not in this particular scenario. All right, it says like everything was done successfully and email sent to your list. We just received the email, you can see right over here. So that's really awesome and amazing. All right, so now you have successfully like automated this step like uploading handwritten German documents, translating it into English and sending them as email to your list. So that's pretty much amazing and awesome. So that marks the end for this video. I hope you like this one. Thank you so much for watching and I shall catch you up in some other one. Till then, have a good day. Bye.